What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a brand new reactions video to the new Pokemon Snap game that has been announced on Pokemon's official channels. Now, I just found out about this. I have not watched this trailer at all, so I quickly downloaded it. We're gonna watch it together, and then we're going to dissect it piece by piece and get really, really excited for it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and thanks for turning on notifications so that you guys are alerted when we go live with a 100% walkthrough of Pokemon Snap on Nintendo Switch. It's gonna be so much fun. Now, like a little bit of background, like I have Pokemon Snap on N64 and I grew up with that game. Some of you guys remember Blockbuster Video and bringing your memory card over there and printing out your actual prints from Pokemon Snap. Yeah, that was me back in the day. And this is gonna be really fun. So anyway, um, let's jump on into it. Let's see what we have and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. I'm gonna mute and then we're gonna knock it out. Okay, that was awesome. That was, you know, that was a nice, it was a beautiful trailer. I thought that was really great. Oh man, let's uh, let's talk about that. Okay, so for well, I guess we're gonna have to get you guys all acquainted, right? We'll get you all acquainted because uh, Pokemon Snap on Nintendo 64 is an on-rails kind of adventure where you're in this little buggy and you pretty much, the buggy moves in and of itself like very slowly and you are in a seat and you can kind of move around and take pictures and you could throw bait or you could throw some like apples and you could throw like a little stun pellet. Like there's a lot of things that you can do while you're in the seat, but you can't move around your cart. So that's exactly what Pokemon Snap is. And then I'm actually wondering, um, I don't think that they're going to have like every single like 800 Pokemon or whatever. Um, in the game because I don't think every single Pokemon was in Pokemon Snap back in like Gen 1. I don't even remember. But no, it looks really great to see the Pokemon that are actually in their own habitat. And it's like, okay, so if Pokemon were real, that would be pretty amazing. Like, I would, I would love this. Like, this part, like in the desert, I was like completely floored at because like you don't often see Pokemon in their own habitat, right? We play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield and they kind of had a couple habitats, but they would just kind of sprout up and like walk around a little bit and then you'd run into it and try to catch it. Uh, so this, this is different than that. And I think that that's going to be really, really fun. I low-key thought that was going to be like Celebi because Celebi is like really hot as far as like flagship Pokemon right now. Um, so no, that wasn't Celebi, it was just a Meganium. All right, cool. Uh, well, yeah, that's uh, that's the trailer. It was only a minute and 33 long, so let's actually dissect and see if we can name all those Pokemon. And I think that you guys are Pokemon Masters and you guys should be able to. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is the kid's shoes. Interesting, nice Crocs, dude. Uh, we got a little P-Dove on the sign here with uh, like, I don't know. You know what, actually, actually, I'm not in any way, shape, or form ready to translate this, but what if that said something in some sort of weird Pokemon language? I don't even know. 
Um, so yeah, this is this is probably like the professor's area, and you can see that there is there's a whole bunch of like pedo over here, and there's like a little pokeball. Um, there's some like like liquids on the counter. Not really sure what that's all about, but this looks really good. I can't even tell what that is. Uh, maybe like Chincho or something. Um, yeah, this looks great. And then this is the brand new camera that he's using, which is cool. So like we don't have this like, I think his name was Tracy back in like N64. You got a new avatar character or maybe he has a name because I saw that there was a female in the game as well. So you can play as male or female. That's really nice. So that's the, um, we got like some Swana flying around, some Swana in the water. Like who was that? Was that an executor? I wasn't really paying attention because I was in the way. Right over here. Uh, yeah, that's just an executor kind of chilling over there. Okay, that's really fun. Uh-huh. And then this is the female character where you can be. And then, like, as soon as you, like, tap your phone over there, you're able to uh, just move around. There's a wingle in the background. I kind of recognize that. A beauty fly. Uh, I don't really see anything else in these other ones, but that's fun. Maybe some Pokemon in the water here. So what happens is that your your little vehicle gets spawned in on somewhere in the island. Uh, who do I see over here, to be honest? Uh, I see some Drifloon or Driftblim. Uh, I see a Lapras on the sunset. I don't really see anything else, but that's cool. Oh man, yeah, this looks awesome. And then I think those are, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you what those flapping things are. Two cannon and this little picky pack. <laughs> we got uh, Cherum's pre-evolution. I don't know what the heck that is. Cheruby. Uh, you got Wooper. You got the little Apom. Uh, yeah, they're all just kind of running around. Okay, so now this is going to be your this is going to be your new professor, and uh, the professor most likely is going to give you the tutorials and say, hey, you know, help me find all these pictures of Pokemon, and maybe they're there to hunt the the mythical Celebi or whatever. I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting real Celebi vibes. So here's Deerling and Sawsbuck, I think that's the name of that thing. Dude, like I'm really stretching. Here's Leapard or Lipard. There's a magic harp. Uh, there's a beautifly, and I don't know what those things are in the back. Oh, you saw Quagsire? Yo, did you guys see Quagsire? That's awesome. Yo, there's Quagsires just chilling out over here, and those are probably like Wooper in the back. Uh, and there's Shift Tree just kind of in the back. There's Skaroopies. There's a little uh, Mandibuzz and uh, Hippowdon. Yeah, this is looking great. Um, Primarina just kind of chilling out. So that like it's not um, it's not just like the first couple generations. That's a recent generation Primarina from Sun and Moon. So that's really great. I think that's fun. Uh, and Grookey too. So this also confirms that there are going to be some Pokemon in the latest generation with Grookey and Pichu right over here. That looks really cute. Um, and then you saw a little bit earlier that, you know, you can get the Pokemon to react differently, especially if you throw an apple. And you'll have unlimited apples, so don't worry. It's not like you have to keep on purchasing them. So you have unlimited apples, you throw them over there, and then they'll make like a little uh, fun, you know, picture. There's a Bidoof. Uh, here's a little Torchic. Oh, completely burning it. And then Heracross and Pinsir uh, just kind of battling it out. And then uh, you can see over here that, boom, you have your character, something's happening. I don't know if this is gonna happen in the game, but maybe it's just like a generated cutscene of giant Meganium. I don't know how big Meganium is in real life. Um, but this over here, uh, then they do like a little snapshot of like other previews of Pokemon. Machamp's there, Squirtle. Gen 1 has to be there, right? Like Gen 1, Nintendo, and Pokemon are really onto Gen 1. So I can only imagine that they'd put that out. Uh, Torchic right over here, Beautifly. Oh, Onyx, look at Onyx sleeping. I've never seen Onyx sleep like that. He kind of curls up and lays down. Sharpedo jumping out of the water. That looks really cute. Uh, Mantines, you've got an Apom over here, we already saw him. Uh, Driftblims in the sand, Pichu Grookey, uh, and then your Meganium. Dude, uh, capture your favorite moment. Wow, and I'm sure that you can like snap those on, you know, Twitter and whatever. So the release date is going to be uh, 4-30-2021. That's fine, like we got months to wait for it. Nintendo's got some other things going on like Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, uh, which if you haven't seen my reactions video on that, definitely take a look. But yeah guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the new Pokemon Snap trailer. What do you hope comes into the brand new game? And if you guys are new to the whole Pokemon Snap franchise, don't worry when 
um, April comes around, like April 1st, April 2nd, we'll start playing through the old Pokemon Snap, and I'll do like a traditional Let's Play, like 30 minute episodes of like going through and like really having a fun time with it. So I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching the trailer with me, and thanks for reacting. You guys are great. So I'm very pumped up for this because I love the game when it came out on Nintendo 64. I grew up with that thing. That and Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, I love those games. So uh, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments in the comment section below. Um, I'll put up like a live stream and we'll actually play this game when it comes out. So thanks so much for being here and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Can't wait to read all your comments. See ya.